Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and today we have the fourth developer beta of iOS 14.5 coming to our devices. And honestly, in the fourth beta of really any release, this is typically where we see very few changes as Apple is trying to make sure that things are stable, as stable as possible for an official release. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get the update installed onto our iPhone 12 Pro Max here, but don't expect major changes in this update. We're just going to be probably uh, getting all the bugs out that we saw in betas one, two, and three and maybe a minor new feature here or there uh, so that we can prepare for the official release of iOS 14.5. So with that said, let's go ahead and check out what's new in iOS 14.5. So picking a cell phone carrier and or a plan that works specifically for you is very just complicated these days. There are so many different plans and carriers to choose from out there. And overall, this experience tends to be a very stressful one for people who worry about if they're getting the best deal or not. Now, Visible, a company owned by Verizon, is a cell phone service that offers plans that start at just $25 per month that deliver unlimited talk and text and also unlimited data with access to Verizon's 5G nationwide or ultra-wide networks. Now, Visible also offers device financing. So if you wanted to, let's say, pick up the new iPhone 12, you can actually finance this device through Visible for as low as $34 a month. And what's really cool is if you already have your own device, you don't even need to leave your home to sign up for Visible. You can either order a SIM from them that will be mailed directly to you, or you can get an eSIM for an any electronic SIM enabled device and start their service right away. All of the information on how to do that specifically will be in the link down below. So guys, go check out Visible by Verizon. It's absolutely an awesome service with unlimited talk, text, and data. And what's super important to me is that their speeds for data are actually very comparable to what we see in other major carriers where you are spending way more money on data than you need to. Overall, Visible is just a really awesome deal. And if you guys want to learn more about what Visible has to offer for you guys, I seriously suggest you check out that link down in the video description down below to find out why Visible is the best plan for you. Okay, so getting to some of the finer details here that we see with this new update, and there's a new build number. And that new build number is 18E5178A. Now with that letter A being listed at the end of this build number specifically, that's typically a good indicator that this will be the most stable beta build in a beta group, and also that this may very well be the last beta before an official release. Now, as for the total update size, for me, this update came in at 383.3 megabytes for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And moving on to the final bit of information here, and the modem firmware has changed now to 1.62.09. Okay, so moving on to what's new, and I said there wasn't really anything major, and that has actually come true here in this fourth developer beta, but what I did notice immediately was a difference in the software update menu here in beta four. Now, when you head into the automatic updates menu here, there are a few new options, that being the option to download new updates, and then also installing security updates automatically. Now, the second option is really just an option you can select if you want to get those smaller updates installed automatically, which are typically to just patch security exploits. This will ensure that you aren't getting those major updates with significant changes, just in case you want to choose those updates on your own. Now, past that really minor change, I honestly didn't notice anything new per se, but if you guys are seeing anything new in this new beta update, make sure to let everyone know down in the comment section down below. Now, as for performance and battery life in this specific update, everything is working very perfectly. There are no glitches, bugs, or performance issues that I've noticed so far, and battery life is actually being maintained just as we saw in the other betas of iOS 14.5, and that was all good. Now, there were some fixes for some items which were bugging users, especially myself, and two of them that I personally had experiences with was the lack of a MagSafe animation when you attached a case or a MagSafe charger. That was super annoying. And then the AirPods Max headphones being shown as the wrong icon in the iOS UI. Now, obviously these are super minor bugs, but those have now been fixed here in beta four. And it looks like everything, every bug that we've seen in previous betas has also been fixed. So it looks like we're very close to an official update here for iOS 14.5 with all of those bugs finally being squashed. 
Okay, so after talking about new features, the very minor new feature that we saw, uh, performance and battery life, I guess that leads us to the big question that we always have at the end of these videos. Should I install this onto my personal device? Now, my answer at this point, same as last time, is my answer is yes, simply because we have a very stable build here in beta four. You get to enjoy the new features that we primarily saw in betas one and two, and also you get some better performance as well that we saw in the earlier betas. Now, overall, I'd say it's definitely not a risky move to check out the betas at this point in time, but if you want to wait for an official release, I can say that by the looks of what's going on here in this specific beta, I can see an official release of iOS 14.5 going live either by the end of this week or maybe early next week. Okay guys, so that was today's iOS 14.5 update video and I appreciate all of you watching today's video. If you want to see more content in the near future, definitely get subscribed, hit that like button and also hit that notification bell button to get notifications when any new content is released. You can also check me out on Twitter at Jeff Updated and we also have the updated podcast to check out as well. Links to both will be in the video description down below. But anyways, guys, I hope to see you in some future content here on the channel or on some social media platforms sometime soon. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.